Good morning boys and girls. Today we're going to be looking at our number sense workbook 6 on page 26. So I have already written my date at the top of the page. Today is the 11th of May 2020 and I've started my first question. So what I would like you to do, because all these balloons at the top of our page are linked to question 1. So for all the balloons that say 10 cents, those are the big round balloons, I want you to take a highlighter, I've chosen purple, and I want you to highlight each 10 cent balloon, one color, and each 5 cent balloon, another color. So I've chosen pink for my 5 cent balloon, and I've chosen purple for my 10 cent balloon. So I'm going to continue highlighting with you. So remember, 10 cent is one color. So you're going to go look. Okay, there's another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. And your 5 cent in a different color. Right, then we are going to see how many 10 cent balloons we have and how many 5 cent balloons we have. So let's count our 10 cent balloons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I want you to write here 9. 10 cent balloons. Then let's count our 5 cent balloons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I want you to write 12 5 cent balloons. Please leave a gap between your number of balloons and the cents, otherwise they will look like they are joined and they are not. Okay, so we have 9 10 cent balloons and 12 5 cent balloons. So, we're going to do some working out together. So if you have a plain piece of paper or somewhere where you can work out with me, please do so. Okay, so we've got our information that we have nine 10 cent balloons. So we need to write a sum that has 10 cents nine times. So we're going to say 10 cents plus 10 cents until we have nine 10 cents. So far we have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Right, let's double check we have all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have all of them. Right, now let's count in tens together. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 90. So we have 90 cents. So all the 10 cent balloons added together gives us a total of 90 cents. Right, then our 5 cent balloons, there are 12. So we need to make a very long sum. 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Let's see if we've got all of them ready to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Right, now we're going to count in fives together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So, all the five cents added together makes 60 cents. Then we need to add our two together. So remember, I made my 10 cent balloons purple. So I'm going to highlight this answer in purple because that's the total of my 10 cent balloons. And the total of my 5 cent balloons is 60. Then I'm going to say 90 cents plus... 60 cents. So now we need to work out what is 90 cents plus 60 cents. Right, let's count from 90 and add 60. We're going to count in tens. So we've got 60 here. So from 90, 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Very good. So we have 150 cents. So that is our total number of cents. Because remember, our question one is asking us. For the. Cents, but so we know our answer over there is 150, like we did over here. So that is our answer for number one. But for extra, I want you to tell me if you know how much 150 cents can be changed into rands. Can it? Yes, it can. And how do we know this? Because 100 cents equals one rand. So if we have a hundred and fifty cents, we have one rand and fifty cents. So one hundred and fifty cents converted into rands makes one rand fifty cents. Because that 100 over here changes into 1 rand. 